Hey there, I'm Beck, and I'm keen for you to post any questions you have about Hatch so I can provide a quick video answer. Our first question comes from Karen, and Karen asks, how do I assign my Galaxy 15 needle machine in Hatch and also assign my hoops? If you don't see your embroidery machine under the machines included with Hatch, you can add your machine by selecting the hoop options icon, then select create, enter the name of your machine and click OK. Then add any existing hoops from under the available hoops list or select create to add a new hoop. Our next question is from Diana and Diana asks, is there a simple step-by-step -step cheat sheet for Hatch? The answer is Hatch Academy and this is where you will find follow along courses covering all the tips and tricks you need when in the software to help you learn faster. The Getting Started course is the place to start and there are also courses on the Hatch toolboxes, toolbars and dockers. And the good news is these courses are free for everyone. Another question is from Joan and Joan asks, if you set the stitch length does it matter where you put the points on the designs or how many? Does the software correct it? The software will automatically adjust the stitch length according to your stitch settings, which can be found in the Objects Properties Docker. However, if you're using a run stitch, everywhere you place a left click, there will be a needle penetration. Best digitizing practice is to place as few nodes as possible to create the shape. This will give you a smoother stitch out and make the object easier to edit. And our last question comes from Jonathan and Jonathan asks, how do I remove unwanted overlaps in my design? To remove unwanted overlaps, select the overlapping object, then go to the edit objects toolbox and select remove overlaps. And this will remove any stitches behind the selected object. Thanks for your questions and I'm here to answer any Hatch questions you might have. So ask your questions in the comments below and I will see you in the next Ask Beck video.